Welcome, everybody, to Culture Clash Comedy Podcast. I am Dan from the West. I'm Shafi from the East. Coming to you live. Join our Patreon. That's where all the fun content is. Yes. Uh, we got we got new members, so that's exciting. We'll give mm. a shout out at the Patreon episode. Yes. But a lot of new content on the Patreon on YouTube. Episodes come out on Monday. We're both on tour, but enough of us. We yes. have a very fun guest. Uh, Just open for the guy. One of my favorite people. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm not even joking. This is one of the comedians I looked up to when I didn't even move to the city. Like I saw him perform at my home club in Saratoga Comedy Works in 27. 27- 2018 i was just like six months to a year in and i saw him like crush and i was like this guy is so funny and he was featuring for like this other i'm the headliner wasn't even funny i'm like Whoa. he is so funny you and, buried the headliner and then i went and talked to this guy and he was so nice he's like yeah be in touch if you come to the city and then i came to the city and i, I creepily met I was like hi i'm in the city can we get coffee sometime but nonetheless we have james camacho Clap it up, baby. Clap for James oh, Camacho. Wow, Thank you for Thank coming you. to the pod, baby. Thanks for having me. That was so... I, I can't wait to get clip that later and uh, listen back to it. <laughs> Dude, well, who was the comment? Dude. I don't even remember the headliner. Yeah. You really I really... I just remember you doing that joke about the serving sushi. And yeah, I, it yeah. was such a memorable joke. I was like... <laughs> That's so funny, but you have a special coming out at Camacho, bro. All the all the social media platforms at Camacho. Camacho, bro. Camacho, Camacho, Camacho bro. bro. There's yeah, no Camacho, o. Bro. There's no yeah. O, yeah. I just opened for you on the spell. Was such a good crowd. Dude, How does it feel to be out, out like get it done out of the way? First, first big special. First special, yeah. First, first big special, um, dude. It feels amazing. I mean, for for just like a million reasons. Like, I guess the main reason is like. Um, doing the show family coming out doing well so like you're, mm-hmm. you're finally proving to your family that you're what this whole thing you're doing is actually like a thing you know like, yeah not just some delusion you have <laughs> your girlfriend came out girlfriend's friends came out hey, family came out from nice. both sides college friends high school friends uh kindergarten friends uh just uh people. it is like a wedding day it felt like that. It well, felt like people that normally don't see each other or haven't seen each other in a while. Yeah. Like a groups that like, you know, like college friends that never see each other anymore. Sure. Like we're finally reunited and stuff. Yeah. You know? So in a weird way, not to sound all pretentious, it felt like like the, the, the show would have like a, a bigger meaning than just for myself. Yeah, serving. sure. Of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Everyone but your drug dealer showed up to the event. Oh, yeah. he was there. He was in the, oh, he <laughs> was in the was in I, the I room, missed though. him completely. I was yeah. like, where is that guy? <laughs> but it's yeah. out. It's get, it's being edited now. It's coming out soon. Yes, edited, coming out soon. And I think the, the one of the best parts is is, is now we're I'm um, just doing all new jokes. Yeah. yeah. And like now, like I did late night at the comic strip, which is where you do just five minutes. Sure. It's all different material from the special, and like it's all doing well. And I'm just like, ah, fuck that old material. That yeah. is, you know, like I don't need that stupid. Amazing. I don't need that old bullshit. So when you go on the road. Are you gonna like burn all before it comes out? I guess yeah. you're gonna you're gonna try to keep some or just throw it out and try it fresh. I right now when I'm not doing right now I'm just doing all like late night bar shows, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. things low that aren't stakes. Yeah, low stake yeah. things, and I'm just challenging myself to start all different material. And yeah. honestly, like like you know the the, I, the ten minutes I have now is actually doing okay. Like I, I can get through and I can do crowd work, but it's like. I guess when I do a headlining show, I'm going to have to do some of the old sure, stuff. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. My plan is like the best of the best from the old to kill, maybe some crowd work and then just like uh, shine, uh, you know, hone the new stuff and then, you know, eventually just slowly phase the old. It out is such an interesting thing that we comics do. We like, we like work on a material. Like, it's like a relationship, right? You like finish a relationship. You get tired of the relationship almost. Yeah. You're like, I loved you for so long yeah. that I can't even stand you anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you're like, I'm going to put you online and have other people fuck you for a bit. <laughs> and I'm going to go on the Open road, find new puss. You know yeah, what I mean? You're yeah. just like completely, I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to go to the dive bar to get new girls. It's just such a weird feeling to like be like, I'm done with that completely. It's funny because you just mentioned that sushi joke. Like, I, I hate doing that joke. Like, yeah. I do it sometimes i know get a laugh but i hate doing it sure. like, it just feels it feels like shards of glass coming out of my mouth and i feel yeah. like a hack and i had this weird thing that if any comics in the room are being like oh, 
doing that again. I mean, I every know. comic has that has we're, that in their yeah. head. You're like, oh, all, everyone yeah. hates me. We all have the two or three minutes that's like, oh god, I, ha- <laughs> I have to do it right now. I don't want to, but it works every single time. Right. And it's a dumb misdirect that I wrote the first week of comedy school. Yeah. And it just it feels like you're literally shitting out of your mouth. Yeah. But yeah. it works. It always works. It works every time. And sometimes it doesn't work, especially when you <laughs> imagine that you hate That's it, terrible. and you're saying it at like an angry, bitter piece of shit, <laughs> and the crowd's like, "Man, this sound. It's a good joke, but after, he really hates it." Huh? After eating it for ten minutes, and you're just like, "Fuck it, okay, I'll do the new. I'll do the good stuff. Yeah. Well, here it is. Here's the good stuff." I, I gotta be honest though. Whenever I default to like old material when I'm bombing, I never feel better, even if it does yeah. kind of work. Sure, I always yeah. leave this the show like. You're a loser. You don't take any you're, chances. You have disgusting. no balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like yelling at your girlfriend in public. You're like, I love you at home, but I just hate so much about what's going <laughs> yeah. on. Right all your all your similes or whatever. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's, really, like, it's, it's like we hate your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Shafi's trying to tell us something in a really ra- roundabout way. It's like yeah. it's like when you go my, home <laughs> and you can't stand looking at the person that you love with yeah. your whole you heart. You just have to stay with them forever. <laughs> and you're like, just We're like, how up. do I get out of this? Because <laughs> you have a dog together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the dogs. Have, he just got the yeah. new dog. Oh, you did. My girlfriend has a girl. Your, your private life is so so <laughs> on uh, whatever the opposite of fleek is. Like it's yeah. it's it's undercover. Like yeah. your social media is just just clips, dude. And you don't say anything. Like no one <laughs> yeah. knows if who. No one. No one even. You for all, every, all people know you could be living in a bat cave. Like no one knows. Thanks <laughs> exactly. real life. Can it, I tell you something? It about, is a bat cave. Yeah. So that's also a challenge. I'm with Batman. Like, yeah. With uh, yeah. I'm with, Batman of Bangladesh. <laughs> you didn't know that. Oh, there we go. Look at my that's ears, your next. So. That's your special. First special. <laughs> Batman, Batman, Batman of Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Batman. Um, bad ba- bad Ladesh. Yeah. Here's a fun thing about uh, social media because we're all fucking algorithm sluts trying to chase the uh, followers. Show you my tits, Algo. Uh, my wedding day. Uh, I a couple days after we get the pictures, they look amazing. Post them to Instagram. I've never lost more followers in my life than when I posted pictures of my wedding. That's rough. Happiest yeah. day in my life. Yeah, and that it was a good we lesson. We hate that. Yeah, it was a good you. lesson that it's yeah. like there is no relationship between how well you're doing on uh, yeah. on Instagram and the happiness that you have in your life. It was it's the happiest day people, in my life. It's yeah. probably people who are, had crushes on you. They're like, ah, I, yeah. I wanted him to be my husband. I, yeah. I thought I could, fu- you know, can yeah, I curse I, on that? I probably shouldn't curse you, on this. You can curse. Cur- yeah, it's not yeah, you guys are cleaner guys, I feel like. like. But it's it's like you're trying, yeah, it's like, I because I think we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Like, we're both like, like my all my followers are from talking about my ethnic background. Yeah. And your followers are from the, the videos you do, yeah, right? Yeah, Europe, America videos, right. yeah. So, like I'm just like now like uh, I'm I'm out of uh, ethnic material I'm I'm all out like <laughs> yeah. I got nothing like I yeah. blew all my loads yeah. like I'm old like I'm a, I'm like an eight year old guy trying to trying to make a baby it's like yeah. not happening so now I'm just being like like I actually literally I do enjoy editing and subtitling stand up clips and then putting those up mm-hmm. and it's like this is the easiest it feels the, like I like the most but like yeah it's like dude my numbers I mean my numbers went from like millions to like I'm not even exaggerating like like hundreds like yeah. just just so left right and i i feel like um i almost feel like like the people that i've cultivated don't even like comedy so yeah. i almost feel like a jackass they're just racist but they're that's like also stuff. yeah yeah yeah, yeah but, they're like anti- that's also that, <laughs> they're like that, anti-racist i feel yeah. like the algorithm also does that right at times like it'll just give you such a boost and then just like forget about you it's like when you're yeah. in like a long relationship <laughs> 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 and you've been together through so, so much long. and you just can't <laughs> and well, it's like and because you try to spice things up in bed you start doing different things you're like <laughs> yeah. oh i don't like that <laughs> no like no like unfollow um uh, yeah but but going back to i guess your uh, you, we are both asians but you're also j- from jersey yeah, which yeah. you have which, I'm jersey. In co- which you're jersey yeah. so yeah. this is going to be a very interesting pod mm. cuz yeah. we're trying to figure out if you're more western or eastern so when you you have asian pa- you're mixed yeah yeah let's talk about the ethnic side yeah. of well, it that's all, that's all stuff, people want to yeah. hear all <laughs> that's what we want to hear all the stuff that you swore you were never going to talk about again let's get into it real deep right now yeah, yeah. hey yeah. maybe i can get more clips of me talking about it you yeah. know yeah, but so uh, parents yes. mixed. My mom's Chinese, my dad's Puerto Rican, mm-hmm. and um, it even yeah. felt like in the cadence that you said it, I was waiting for a joke. I but know, <laughs> like I, I feel that way. No, I feel when I say it, I feel like because yeah. uh, I mean, I have so many uh, viral videos that start like that, and like, yeah. I do feel like uh, mm-hmm. uh, a record player almost. Yeah, yeah. So they are your uh, are your parents 
were they American citizens? And then they get together in New Jersey. Like, how do you yeah. how do you come to be? My mom born in uh, Taiwan, actually. Okay. And she immigrated here for college. And, and you said she's Chinese. Yeah, it's just oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's funny? But you know what's really funny? Like, I had brought up about that up to my mom, and my mom was my mom doesn't care. Like yeah. Um, yeah. the whole Taiwan Chinese, and she's like. Eh. She takes that. She takes under the major brand, major level. Yeah, she doesn't. Yeah. But I, because yeah. like you know, because people have told me like there's a war. Like, uh, what, what does your parents have to say? And I was like, oh, let's let me let me see what she said. Thinks. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, I don't care. Yeah. And you should put Child that up. On, you should put that up on TikTok. That that would do well. But from uh, a, do well, uh, the conversation. Yeah. I mean, like your your mom just talking about being from Taiwan. Oh, we probably would have people want to kill us. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. I think there's yeah. like a billion and a half people who would like really not like it. But yeah. the rest of the world would probably be down with it. But it's TikTok yeah. though. It's like owned by them. Yeah. So she, yeah. your mom uh, immigrates from Taiwan to America for school, sticks around. Yeah. That's, stays and, here and she met my dad um, in college. Okay. And my dad, but my dad was uh, teaching. Okay. So she took his class, math class, and then... Is it like intro to math or like AP Calc? I think just whatever like uh, basic math, yeah, algebra. Like, I think so. That's Trying what to yeah. is the most interested in in the stories. What kind of what kind of what kind of math? Also like what's the course <laughs> load? <laughs> Calculus three, yeah. like what was which, it? Cal, which Texas instrument? <laughs> Differential yeah. equations. What, what were they she, learning about? Yeah. Was she using TI eighty nine or eighty one? Uh, yeah, Ram out for that. Yeah, Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, from, that's a throwback, dude. Over from, I don't oh, think anyone geez. uses that anymore. No, that it's, cal- no, it's AI now. Now it's, now it's like probably ChatGPT. Wolfram Alpha is like a website where you can like solve the equation. They you just uh, it it solve it for you. Yeah. 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 Now but you use you ChatGPT for that. But it's yeah. weird because you couldn't. You weren't allowed to use it before, yeah. but now you can use ChatGPT apparently. So I don't. I don't know what the yeah difference is. But um, yeah, they met and then um, they started dating like after she took the class. So it's not like you know that's scandalous, I guess, but. Yeah, that's it. And then uh, my dad grew up in New York, New York City. Mm-hmm. So he's a New Yorker. And then uh, wait, wait, wait. So your dad's a professor. What what yeah. college is this? Jersey City. University. Jersey City University. Yeah, yeah. Is it oh. still around? Yeah, yeah. He's and still so teaching your, there. Your dad still te- is a prof- math yeah. math guy. Yeah. And your mom's a student. Finishes yeah. finishes that class and yeah. starts dating in college or after college. In college. In college. Yeah. And then they get married ho- after how many years? Oh, I don't, I don't know how many years after, but yeah. And then they have you how how so when I'm coming up on th- I'm 30 and my mom's like 65 so yeah 35 so like at least 12 years later I'd say yeah no yeah it wasn't like immediate no right yeah mm-hmm. I don't know that like honestly like uh, I don't have this speci- I know the general story about sure. the specifics yeah you know yeah right yeah I don't know how close you guys are with your your parents but we're not, like I, I'm close to them but like we don't like. In sure. terms of like, like actually exchanging. Oh, of course. I mean, Asian, <laughs> yeah. Asian parenting. There's always a barrier. It's like it's yeah. like it's like VPN. You have to and you I have to g- secure connect. You don't have secure connection. It's weird. Right? I, I think it's just a generational thing because like, I don't understand. Like I always say, like I don't. If I have kids, I'm gonna want them to like yeah ask me questions. I want to yeah, help yeah. them. And sure. like mm-hmm. I, my I guess my parents were just, were just kind of like. Asian parents have their own Patreon. They're like, you gotta, you, there's a, there's a paywall for you to cross, so you yeah. Get, you, yeah. which you'll never you be advice, able to cross. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to be the president to go to that Patreon. So then, yeah, I didn't have money. I couldn't pay it. So you're, uh, it's, and then you're growing up in New Jersey, right? Growing up in New Jersey, yeah. Okay. Uh, your parents get divorced? No, they're still together. They're still together. They're still That's together. That's Asian as fuck. Came to dude. the taping. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they I came to they were, the taping. But weren't you saying you hadn't seen your dad in a while? No, I just don't. I just don't like like my dad and I don't like have a great relationship. Okay, they don't yeah. see eye to eye, but they're still no, around. no, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just like um, he's like a quiet. He's like he's like a uh, quiet. He's like awkward, mm, and he's got math a lot. Professor. Yeah, yeah. He's like Russell Crowe. <laughs> like, you don't movie. have to say any of that. He's a math professor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like he's like this like tortured genius, like like a beautiful mind kind of thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where he's like antisocial, and he's just but he's just you know. Just drawing equations everywhere. Yeah, you know a bit. A What's bit, his favorite uh, bit equation? Downsy. Does he have a favorite equation? Huh? Does he have a favorite <laughs> equation? I, I, you know, Asian plus uh, Puerto Rican equals <laughs> baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you got like the. So what does your mom do for work? My mom was an accountant for a while. Okay. Um, she had a. She had a pretty good job, and then uh, she lost. Like something happened. I think the company went down. I remember when I was a kid, like my mom was like a boss. Yeah, she was like, 
the bosses, uh, whatever company w- it was, she was like the the like uh, the boss's CEO's like secretary type of like like just like underling, you know, like yeah, right yeah, beneath. Yeah. And you know, people listened to her. She got the bitch people around. Like she was big shit. She, like she had all these like suits and like these fancy shoes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Then the the company went down, and then like she, I remember she had to like apply for these jobs, and she was she was upset that like she had to like she was basically she I remember her telling me one day she was like at this new company, and she's like they treat me like a cupcake, like a cupcake, <laughs> like, like a cupcake. <laughs> What's the analogy there? Like, I don't, because because yeah. she because she was in such a high position sure. at her old job. Yeah. Then when the, the place went down, she had to get a new job, but then she was just like uh, nothing. Yeah, you know, like a cupcake. She, she was a cupcake. I don't know what that. Means. I don't know. What it's it not is a thing. It's just. It's really funny. <laughs> it's just yeah. you know you know how Asian parents sometimes they'll they'll yeah. they'll just create their own slang. But you I know? can see the frustration. Like her whole life is like. And you're like, completely. no, mom. She's treating you like a muffin. Yeah, you're worse than a cupcake. <laughs> you're a, you're muffin. a muffin. That is wild. I think we take it for granted. Like our parents, like because my dad had a similar. Uh, uh, he lost his job in the 08 financial crisis. Yeah. Dude, what a fucking wild to have to lose your job with kids. I can't even imagine the stress. Yeah. I can't even imagine the having upheaval, a job. Evil, yeah. I can't imagine having a kid with, with, with any job. Like that, yeah. that sounds stressful. Just thinking about paying their college and all that shit. Like oh, oh god. my god, I can't even. Yeah. I'm, I'm sweating yeah. thinking about Look it. Look at your retirement fund and then be like, and I would ha- probably have to double this to have a kid. Especially if they have aspirations and want to go to a good school. You're just oh, like, it's oh, the worst. God. Yeah. So what is your like? Are your parents? They're both like smart people. Are they pushing you like academic? Are they pushing you sports? Are they because you do acting and stuff too? Like, are they pushing yeah. you like creative? No, no. I all all my creative endeavors came from from just uh, rebelling in college. Like, like growing up, my mom wanted me to like uh, be uh, like study all the time. She wanted me to be an accountant, a doctor, just like your 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 yeah. age, normal Asian parent jobs, mm-hmm. um, safe, secure, and then. Um, I just uh, I I grew up the opposite. Like I grew up like I loved uh, entertainment. I love acting. I love uh, movies. I love sports. Like just mm-hmm. all the stuff they thought were like completely useless. Just my mom. My dad. See, my dad. My dad never really was hands on with me. Like my dad like just went to work. He came home, um, ate and like watched TV, and then he just went back to work. Like he never mm-hmm. like disciplined me. He never like 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 was like I'm gonna show you the way. Like never. Yeah. Is that like why that. you have a like like a strange relationship with your dad? Because you just never like bonded. There was really? never a like yeah. It's like it's something that kind of was never created. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's not even like uh, strained because it, yeah. it doesn't exist. No, it's not like he's like ah oh, ah oh, fucking. Uh, ever since then, I, I hate yeah. him now. It's, or it, conflict. It's the absence of conflict. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that's an, really interesting. That's the yeah. worst. Yeah. 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 It's 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 uh it's a bummer, but then you just kind of learned uh you know through therapy Accepted. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I've, I've, I've I mean I've been to therapy for the same reason. It's uh yeah. It's, it's a very Asian thing. I, I thought like too well my dad's Puerto Rican, which is uh yeah so he's he's really off. Maybe he's just yeah. a real Asian inside, you know. Mm, yeah. But <laughs> he uh I remember at the special taping like uh, my family was coming up and they're all like great job, good job, great job, good job. And yeah. then I saw my dad coming up and I thought for a second there might be a thing. And like nothing, like, this is just nothing has changed. He just was, he just did like a, and then like, yeah. he just walked No past. hug, handshake. Nothing, or... just walked past. And I was like, for a second, because it's like, it's hope. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's hope or you just, yeah. you, you just see everyone being like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like uh, if you're doing a show and people are like, good job, you killed. Blah, and then blah. one person comes up to you and is like, where's the bathroom? You yeah, yeah, be yeah. Like, oh, I thought he was going to say, yes. he, he, I thought he was going to say, I killed. Yeah, it was like that. Yeah. And then, um, but then I wasn't surprised. I was just like, oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. But like, as a math professor, like teacher, like, wasn't he at least like trying academics as well? Like, he didn't care about your academics? No. Like, I, li- I used to do a joke about it where like, he's a math teacher, but he, he never taught me math. It's like, uh, it's like Trump not teaching his sons how to grab pussy. Yeah. Yeah. That's and- good. It's just probably like, gets an applause break depending on where you tell it. In New York, yep. in New York, people people carry me out of the show. Yeah. The uh, girls are just blowing me, yeah. and then yeah, I do it on the road, and I get shot in the leg. <laughs> I get a, uh, I get a, uh, you know, whatever my abortion taken away. I don't yeah. know, but yeah, it's um, what was I? What were we talking about again? Your dad being a math professor and not teaching you math. Yeah, he so it literally was like. I don't know, and I, I think it's a generational generational thing because I was talking to my mom about him, and then, you know, she was like, you know, his dad did the same thing, you know, mm-hmm. and then she yeah. was talking about her parents. My parents were also very like uh, strict, you know, 
the way basically the way we raised you is the way our parents raised you yeah sure no different that's yeah. all we knew and all this shit mm-hmm. yeah. just, but like it's almost like it's a weird thing to hear because like you know it's, it's a like, cop I'm, it's a I'm cop thinking, out it's a cop out it is because yeah. like I, I i'm like the complete opposite like it's like uh i'm thinking like all these things i want to do with my future kid yeah. that but it's that. because we have like more conversation around it i guess therapy. so yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't popular. even have that they didn't yeah. have like anything trending on Twitter. They're mm-hmm. like, "Oh, parent, <laughs> good parenting is trending right now." Yeah, right. There's no like Instagram accounts of like you know five ways to show your kids that you love them. Like, there's like yeah. so much. In, but then also, it kind of brings up like a question of like, what is the obligation of a parent to like seek out good parenting techniques or like new updates to like the parenting book? I I think back in the day, literally, it was just like I I provide you with a place to live and. Uh, shit and that's it like all this like i guess quote unquote emotional or guidance stuff yeah like that's like extra almost like yeah mm. they're not coaches they're more like they're more providers like, yeah they're just like you you have a place to stay yeah it's yeah. Like we, don't, we don't coach you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's a bad ceo yeah. who doesn't know how to lead their well you, you ever company. think about like animals um that have kids and like one of them dies like they're not like if a cat has like eight kittens and one of them disappears because someone adopted them they're not going what, what is it yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, they have they don't even give a shit like yeah. the next day they're same yeah. thing everything's fine yeah mm-hmm. you know like i remember when so i got you're my saying la- your dad's a cat my dad's a pussy yes <laughs> 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 but um yeah it's just like it's more i mean i think that's kind of what we're i think we've just evolved into more compassionate uh yeah. beings and stuff you know what's the worst time you got into trouble with your parents like what's the worst thing oh dude i, I mean i've i've uh i've gotten uh i've gotten arrested a few times what nice. I, we yeah. don't know yeah, but this it's not bad it's nothing like what not happened criminal. like no i mean i, I stole shit i uh like I got, shoplifting like, stuff huh shoplifting shoplifting um what did you get what did you what did you steal i just stole advil what yeah. Because I used to do this thing with my buddies where we would do coupon shopping for okay. his, one of his dads. Sure. For his dad. And then uh, we'd make money. Like, it was like a job. Okay. But it was fun because we all got in a van and we were all just smoking and then fucking around, going to Taco Bell as you do when you're in high school, having fun. Sure. Just just uh, boys hanging out. And uh, we'd make some money. His dad had like a wholesaler. So we got him coupon shopping for him. And then I remember like uh, he'd give us like a budget to work off mm-hmm. of. And if you wanted to make extra money, I mean, we all did it. We just stole shit. So we could keep the, we can keep more money yeah and uh i got caught and then uh i mean it was such a it's one of those things where like 90 percent of the time i feel like they will let you go yeah but i think they knew because we were doing the coupon shopping like they just kept me like it was a bottle of advil that was like 11 dollars, and they just kept me in the fucking office and like the the, the cops came and then like the, everything yeah how do your parents react to that uh i don't think they were that mad Really? It's so weird. Yeah, it's just like my mom was so crazy about me studying. It's just like, yeah, you can like kill people and like yeah. you can go to jail as long as you you know get a, get an A. I don't care. And you are a good student. Also. No, I wasn't a good. I was like uh, I was like average. Like C. Like if I didn't try, I would fail. If I tried my best, I would get like a B minus. Mm-hmm. Sure. And like if me like trying my absolute hardest and reaching like my best potential was like a ninety. Mm-hmm. And then I remember, it was funny because I was telling my mom about it. Or we were talking about it. Like every time I got a 90, like anytime I did like get an A, like she wanted me to, she'd just be like, well, we do better next time. Like, oh, yeah. do it again. Like mm-hmm. it was never yeah. like a uh, good job. I'm proud of you. Sure. And um, I made some video about it, um, about where I, because for the special taping, I had like 100 people come. I had 100 reservations. I was like, I finally got 100. And then the joke was like, she goes, well, how about 200? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, The venue doesn't have the capacity for 200. <laughs> yeah. It's out of 100. Add another show. It's yeah. out of 100. Do a theater. Come on. Yeah. MSG. But yeah, so... Man, I feel like this is getting sad. But ah, no, it's like... Go, yeah. No, it's so deep. funny. Your yeah. dad's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. My dad's a pussy. You're and my mom, my mom is like, be a criminal as long as you can get yeah. your graduation. That is so, brilliant. Because <laughs> did you get beat? Did you get sandals? I got... Oh, my mom beat the well, shit out of right. me. Like yeah. slaps, oh, spanks. Dude, what was the worst thing they used? Slaps, spanks, punches, belt, okay. objects, okay. Switch, everything, Everything spoon, they had. Everything, dude. Yeah. And... Um, Mad book fucking throwing at everything you. like yeah she she would not she would really uh beat me up yeah she beat me really are you, bad. Are you an only child only child oh yeah. that's a lot of it Pick that's a lot of we had uh usama on and he he would say like is he an only child 
he, no, no he, has he, would, he would use brothers. his brothers in order to try and avoid the beating. Like, he would have a brother who could, like, call out to him, like, mom's coming. But, like, so, oh. so they could split the, the beatings up. But only child, I mean, she really, laser focus, can really beat the shit out of you. Yeah, man. Sometimes I feel like she enjoyed it, too. Like, I, wow. I, I remember thinking, like, she, I remember just the, fa- like, you know, if you, do you ever do, do you do boxing or do you? No, no, the you, combat. So I played lacrosse. I can get pretty violent. But, but. You, but you know when like you're in the zone or maybe if you're like uh, working out and you're mm-hmm. just, and you're just, <sighs> yeah, like there will be moments where she's like, she would be hitting me and then you just see the, <gasps> yeah, like, like you're in the yeah. zone type of beat uh-huh. downs. I'm just like, fucking Jesus, you know, yeah. kind of like, flicks the switch into like that. I don't think my mom's here anymore. Right. Like, this, they, is, yeah. this isn't a it's someone training for this the MMA. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what she's, what she's like training for the MMA. She's like, I got to send this video to the MMA coach. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. MMA, I, don't think I have MMA an audition tape. Then, yeah. 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 Um, religion. But, what about religion? Did they may, may like go through that kind of facet? So my mom was like Buddhist. So she like went to temple every Sunday. That's mm. really funny. She, Just she, a violent Buddhist. I mean, they, they, <laughs> they, they no attachment. Your dad's yeah. like, I will do that one. Yeah. I'll do no attachment. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And your mom's like, I will get really attached I mean, with they, my hands and yeah, your face. Yeah. Violent, like obviously Buddhists like can get into shit. You know, like there's yeah. She uh, didn't like put her like uh, put herself on fire though. Yeah, but yeah. no, Buddhists no. will beat the shit. Buddhists are, can be violent in certain like countries. I think there's like Buddhists versus Muslims versus Hindus things. But yeah. like you don't, you think Buddhists and you think like I don't think she was should be hitting her kids. But no, I don't. Yeah, it's just so it's so weird because I was just in um L A. I was in Arcadia where my aunt lives, and I remember like it's all it's all literally all Asian there, like uh-huh. all ch- a, ch- a Chinese, and I'm just seeing these um moms yelling at their kids, like and it's, I feel so bad it's, in L A. In Arcadia, like which is like twenty minutes outside of LA, oh, okay. that's like high Chinese population. Yes, yes, okay. but they're like, like, like they're yelling at their like drill sergeants, yeah, at their kids, you know. Mm. And then I'm just like, I'm like, like it rem- reminded me of how I grew up, you know. It's like just a public shaming, like they're just giving the dr- ah! yeah, and like you're in public, and like the kids got to feel like terrible that there are people around, and then mm-hmm. they're fuck, and then they're being yelled at at the same time, like. It's really um, so they didn't, yeah. they didn't really make you go to like temples and stuff. No, yet? they did. My mom made me go every Sunday with her, so I would go with her. Um, I do some praying, but then like there was also like a kids section, yeah, where all the kids would kind of hang out, and then we'd come out for like the praying. But then the adults would do stuff that we didn't have to be a part of, so we'd come go hang out. Yeah, like a little like we a did room. that a little bit. Uh, Catholic, like Roman Catholic, they, they would this- send you away for like. Uh, right. I don't know. I guess they were just like childrenify, like the fucking gory stories of the Bible and trying sure. to explain it to you. But, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's kind of, I always kind of related to like just how Catholics go to church. It's like yeah. every Sunday, pretty much your whole afternoon and uh, you don't want to go. Yeah. You know, but you're forced to go. And then what's like the, the content that they're, I don't know anything about like a Buddhist temple. Like what's the run of show? It's literally like, like different types of like prayers and marches, not marches. That's a, but it's like, so, We'd go in and there would be a, a huge room and like there would be like the little mats everywhere. Okay. And there would be like a huge statue of a of a um, a monk or a, like Buddha, like a Buddha, like a you know, yeah. like the big old guy Buddha. with the tits and yeah. the big earlobes. Mm-hmm. And um, everyone would take like a little in front, get under a little mat, say the prayers. There'd be like a lead monk with like the um, I don't know what it's called, but like the little stick and the little thing like doing yeah. this. And they just chant, chant, chant. Everyone would what like. What chants are they doing? I, I forgot. It's, it's it's in Chinese, you know. I don't. Oh, I don't right. yeah. Just so you're there and you don't even understand the don't, words that are being said. I don't understand, but I'm just forced to sit there and Holy hold my hands, shit. start walking, and then they, then they start walking around in circles, following. Then it's like you take a break, and then you come back and do another one, and you take a break. And you come back and do another one. And you don't understand a word that they're saying. I have no idea what the hell is going oh on. Oh, my God. Does your mom tell you at least what's no, going on? No, she's just, my mom's there and like I, I have to go. So and what then, do you know about Buddhism? Do you know anything about nothing. Buddhism? You know nothing <laughs> about <laughs> Buddhism. <laughs> nothing. I just, no, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So I, you have no concept of what, what a Buddhist is? Nothing. That is so crazy. And what about your dad? Is he going? No, my dad's not going. No, my dad. Dude, when I tell he you He doesn't my dad, have any religion. My dad yeah. literally is just, this is my dad. Like, he literally wakes up. And uh, he takes a shit, and then he goes to work. Then comes home. He on eats the weekends and watch, too. Watch, it's the same thing. Like he just doesn't. He has like a cycle 
his yeah. life cycle like whatever you know we got that's buddhism yeah. life cycle that's buddhism. is it really that's very buddhist really? maybe he's yeah, just yeah. such a maybe he's, he's graduated he's to the top where he, yeah. he just do whatever he wants sure but um but he's he never talked about religion in the house or to you no i don't even know what he i don't know what's the longest you have talked to your dad in one sitting dude it probably like i would literally have to say it was probably like when i was like a like a five-year-old kid like my dad or even younger my dad used to like uh he used to like play with me, like with like little like little, the little toys. Sure. And he would make he would like kind of do all this like s- like silly like he would have he would grab like a toy dinosaur, and like be like brr, brr, I'm Mr. Toy, <laughs> toy. Yeah. and then he would have like another like a toy of like a duck brr, I'm duck duck and brr, yeah. brr. like he would do all this shit. He would do that in front of you. Yeah, yeah. but as a kid, you thought it was hilarious. You right. Know? I, used, I used to like lay on so his he's lap, Russian like, for like oh, forty five. Dude, yeah. dude, he kill it, killing. He yeah. probably felt so great and like uh, yeah, he's murdering. Like I'm yeah. giggling, laughing. And I'm like, my mom's trying to get my attention. I'm like, shut up, poor, like, yeah. oh, me and dad time. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. But then I remember, like, I remember um, it just got less and less and less and less. Like, I remember I remember one time, um, it used to be, like, every Saturday or something we'd do mm-hmm. this. Or maybe, like, every Tuesday, and like, twice a week. And then yeah, it just went from, regularly. like, I can't do it yeah. this week. Then it went from, like, all right, next week. And then it just never happened again. You literally lived, uh, you know the song, the um, the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. No. no let's, dude, what the okay. Fuck is do that? not listen to it. <laughs> cats in the silver Do not, do not <laughs> listen to this it. This is uh, uh, Dan's Spotify top Dude, you're talking about my dad? That's how you say cats? The cat, the song, it's a, it's a song about, like, a dad who, like, drifts apart from the sun. And then at the end, the, the dad is, like... Hey, I've got time to hang out, and the son gives the exact same excuse that the dad gave him the whole oh, time. Oh, really? But it's really, like really, it'll really. rip your fucking heart out the first time you hear it. It's like a, a song. Uh, the cat's in the cradle and the silver this spoon. This doesn't sound like a song you'd cry to. Dude, <laughs> yo, it, I'm singing it bad, and this is a Who, thing. What band is this? By? I don't even know. <laughs> is this your band? Can I tell you? It sounds like slam poetry. This is a white person's anthem about their dads not loving them enough. It's the cat's in the cradle. Is I don't it a know how many song? white people that go through that. I, they're ask. Any white person, if you're listening to know. this right now, if you're watching comment it, below. comment if, you if you're a white, white person and you know this who has a, a strained relationship with your dad and <laughs> you know the Cats in the Cradle song. I have a question then. So like yes. no religion from parents. What about you? Like what are your philosophies on religion? Like what do you think about it? Oh, I, I mean, my, I, I have, I'm, I guess atheist. Well, atheist when you don't believe in anything or don't yeah. care. What's don't care? There's agnostic. There's agnostic. agnostic. I mean, agnostic like, is that there you don't know what's beyond the material world and you're open to you, it. You atheist would, is like you're not open to it. Yeah. I just think this. I think like all of these. I, I don't know what you can, you can I guess uh, define what I am, but it's like I think all these stories about God, Buddhist, whatever it is, sure. they're just stories to with all morals to live yeah. by, like how you mm-hmm. should be a good person, not screw around, sure. be good, be a good person. Like they're all just kind of examples how you should lead your life. And whether you want to believe it happened or not. It doesn't really matter. It's just like, it, 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 whatever. I don't know any of the stories, but like they're all just like lessons of how you should act. And if you believe they happen or not, that's fine. But so like, do you have those basic, what are your basic tenets that you live by? I really think like, like is it classic ones like, you know, you should just treat people how you want to be treated. Sure. And if people treat you the way you wouldn't treat them, then you should tell them to go kill themselves. Yep. Yeah. That, I think that's you really should yeah, get yeah, disassociate, yeah. get away with You gotta away kill themselves. Yeah. You gotta kill them. Yeah. And just if you murder. and if you want to kill murder. them, then that's also if they're being a piece of shit, you can just like a little stab you. It's stab. totally fine. You go to court. Well what what, what would you do that for? Ah, uh, he was treating me the way I wouldn't treat him. Oh, <laughs> golden rule excuse. It's a golden excuse. rule, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, that's so interesting. I, I'm so fascinated by like how many hours do you think you wasted in Buddhist temple? With no value. <laughs> there, it's very rare that I hear this in a childhood where it's like, okay, I don't think there was anything to be gained dude, other than like disassociating your body or like yeah. daydreaming so hard that you can like create a Quentin Tarantino movie. Dude, my, I'm telling you, my whole childhood was just basically being forced to do things I didn't want to do. Yeah. That, that's my whole... I was, I was talking about it in therapy today, actually. Like, because... Um, I, I was like telling my therapist, like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to fuck about it. What, I'm just what's like, your uh, therapist ethnicity? Uh, well, I'm seeing it. Uh, my therapist is actually on vacation, so I'm seeing a temporary therapist. Oh, right? okay. okay. Like a, so sub- she, she's a substitute white lady. therapist. The yeah. substitute's a white lady. Yeah, old and white then lady. And usually, what do you, well, who do it's you It's a, a, a Jew. White, a Jew, Jew dude. Oh, Jew okay. dude. I, I see the, the guy everyone sees. Yeah. Uh, Alan. Oh, oh interesting. Alan. Okay. I, all the comics see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you feel like they relate to you? Hard. Alan or, or the both, therapist? Both of them. Like, can yeah. they relate to your 
They're both. I think they're both really good. Like it's weird because like I I know people that see a therapist and they're just like my therapist sucks. Like yeah. Like I tried to talk to them and he told me to fuck my mother. I'm like that. How good advice is that? I don't understand. Yeah. And for me, I'm just like I don't know. Like Alan's perfect. I've been seeing Alan for like years. I I I, I couldn't live without him. And like um the the lady I'm seeing now, she's great too. And like I'm going back to Alan, and I almost not that I want to see her over alan but like mm-hmm. this has been a crazy month too like i've had a lot of things go on like all the years i've seen alan like he's been really helpful but like i had a month this month where like yeah things were wacky and she she's she's good too like i mm-hmm. almost want to see both but i uh and then what was the thing you were gonna what was the thing you're talking about in therapy with this new white lady oh so like i was going on this tangent it was actually about social media i was just yeah. like uh Cause I post all these, I post these, I'm just posting stand-up clips now. I don't want to post things about being Asian. Mm-hmm. I'm not even rebelling. I'm just like, I just don't have any, any, any more in the muse, tank. I don't yeah. have muse for it. And then I, I went on my Instagram today cause they sent me something like, Oh, you want to monetize? You want to do a bonus thing? I'm like, sure. And then I open it up and then I see all these, uh, uh, what do you call it? These strikes. Yeah. Content I'm like, strikes. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I look at it. It's just these last two stand-up clips. I'm like, there's nothing yeah. wrong with these and those will tank the algorithm even but if you, yeah. i can't but it's like it's like i get i think I, here's what i think it is and this is the common theme with all my stuff that's gotten um flagged if you just say the word sex i mean yeah. it, they just they just pull the fire alarm and then mm-hmm. you know there was like it, you could wow. say anything else you could say the yeah. f word the s word the c word you could talk about murdering people how to murder people you can talk about how to be a dictator and nazism mm-hmm. is great and all the moment you go sex or you do anything sex play, they it, it's like oh, automatic automatic ban. Yeah. So I'm like I was so, this is like literally right before I'm about to go in the therapist's office, and I was just telling her I was like, um, you know what? Like I'm gonna be me. It's just so much easier. I'm gonna stop caring because either way, if it, this content does well or not does well, I'm still gonna put it out. So who the fuck cares what the reaction is? Blah yeah. blah. And then I go. Um, I just stop and I go. Oh man, like I'm sorry. I'm bitching about this thing that's not that important. And then she's like, "What are you? What are you talking about? Like, yeah. like, like why are you going back on what you just said? Like, you, you stick up for yourself. And yeah, it's like your feelings are valid. Your thoughts are valid. Yeah, she's like, just yeah. what are you? What are you going back on? Like, you always do stuff like this. And it's and it's because like uh, my whole childhood, I grew up just doing things I didn't want to do. Whether it was temple, mm-hmm. I mean, I wanted to play baseball and uh, do uh, acting and writing. And I just I told my parents like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do with your life? You piece and you of shit. Would, and you would tell I them would, explicitly <laughs> like, here is here are three things that I would really like. They're to like, do. They're like, no, how about no and then my mom would like send me to like learning centers for like my whole entire weekend so i'd go to school oh the God. learning centers all weekend then, then temple and chinese school so my whole childhood you speak chinese a little bit yeah i could speak it pretty say something in chinese um mihama <laughs> yeah that's that, yeah. that sounds pretty Val- valid. Valid. Sound, but yeah. you could tell by the way i said it it's yeah, not yeah. just you know it's yeah. good yeah but um yeah, like I was telling her the story too of like when I was like in sixth grade, um, I had this like band class mm. and they literally were like, here's a piece of paper, just pick which instrument you want to play for the whole year. Sure. And every instrument's on there, flute, ca- ca- uh, clarinet, tuba, trumpet, tr- everything. I played trombone, trombone, very fun. Trombone, trombone. Yeah, a lot of fun. I wanted to play the drums because I thought it was cool, right? Yeah. But this is how conditioned I was to like not uh, do the things I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I, all I had to do was check drums, and they would have gave me a drum kit. I would have played drums the whole year. I couldn't do it. I just checked saxophone. I had no idea what it was. I ended up playing an instrument I didn't want to play the whole year. Yeah. Because I couldn't be like, oh, this is what I want to do. I'm going to go do it. Mm-hmm. I'm interested in diving into your dating history. Okay. I know right now you're dating this beautiful lady. Yeah. Um, we can talk about her in a bit, but like, yeah. how was it like early years? Like, were you, as a kid, were you like, uh, like, interested in girls like because like how was that like of course I was in, what do you mean i mean like how when did you learn that you're like you know what i oh, want to start dating when did you find out you were straight pretty yeah. early on i remember first grade <laughs> i'm a first fucking grade. alpha male hell yeah i knew i always knew that's what we like on this podcast yeah more white people comments is your mom like freaking out about like are you bringing girls home sneaking girls in sneaking out trying to like how is that i did that a little bit i snuck not even sn- like, I I snuck girls in, but then I just started bringing girls over, and then I did, I just uh, she, but like I said, dude, it's like it's so weird. She like, like I got arrested. I would have girls over. She never said anything. It was only about like she just cared about my grades. What about like did you date other races? Did that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, um, white, uh, black. I did it. Yeah, pretty much. Is there a race I haven't dated? 
Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I think I've got cleared everything. And did you did you have like do you fall like how was it like do you fall in love like how was your perception of love from you know see, seeing your parents being in that community like so, did that affect you you think? So I I remember like I mean if you're just talking about like crushes early on it's just like crushes you're just sure like, I love yeah. this per- I, i'm so infatuated mm-hmm. with eighth them. grade math teacher they got huge bazingas sometimes they wear no, the just, white blouse uh, no yeah. never teachers just, just oh other, maybe just me maybe yeah. just me maybe yeah because yeah. he, yeah. he doesn't like because his dad's a teacher he's yeah, like yeah, i'm yeah, gonna yeah. avoid teachers yeah maybe that's what got me into this yeah. whole mess in the first place was maybe falling for teachers um yeah uh no it was just like it, it was just other girls and then when I like, you know, when sex gets involved, that kind of thing, there was a pretty good long, there was a long period of time where it was all just like, I was just not serious about anyone. Like mm-hmm. it was all just like ego. Like it was all just like, let me see how many people I can sleep with. Let sure. me see how many different types of girls I can sleep with. Let me just see how many people this week, like yeah. nothing serious. And like, uh, I mean, all one night like yeah. non-committal like look at like, rotation like just just your just classic dick bag jersey kind of yeah. mentality i always, i would love to say oh my god i never did that in college I, did, <laughs> I, I, I tried very hard to have sex with as many people as i could yeah yeah it's just it, but it, it's all ego it's all to yeah. like you think that uh you're filling some void i think yeah it was just like this thing of like uh i got i didn't feel like i was very cool so I just thought that was a cool thing to do because if you know if your mm-hmm. guy gets a lot of girls, you're cool. How yeah. did you evolve out of that? Um, and when you know it was just like a lo- a long time of uh, nothing serious. Sure. Mm-hmm. And then you just get uh, you get, I guess it sounds cliche, but you just get lonely. Like you just start you you miss you just want a real connection mm-hmm. with someone. Yeah. And when I met Shiv, love Shiv. Beautiful I, lady, Shiv. Shiv, yeah. Great Shiv time is, to be named Shiv too. That name's hot right now. Succession. You oh, are watching Succession. Yes, yeah. yes. But the Shiv's a dude, right? In no, succession. Shiv's a hot girl. Oh, really? I don't yeah. want Succession. I haven't mm-hmm. seen it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I see it. Shiv trending on Twitter all the time. I'm like, is that? Am I, is she trending? What she do? <laughs> what she? She yeah. finally started an OnlyFans. Good yeah. For her. Woo! yeah. We're, we'll have we're, some money we're finally. Rich. Um, no. So I remember when I met Shiv. Talk. Tell us about this. Well, this is your like longest relationship? Yeah, but like the thing is, like, when I met her, I was in this zone of like this denial, I guess almost you want to call it, where I'm like, I just need to bang and have fun. I'm a comic, yeah. I can't get in anything. Uh, numbers, you know. Mm-hmm. Classic I, you know, you Jersey. Have this list you have, yeah. like here's every, everyone, and then, um, but like deep down, I I think I knew because like there'd be times I check into these hotels on the road, I'd be like lonely. I'm like, oh, I wish I could have someone here with me, and but I just. I was in denial the whole time. But then when I met Shiv, it just slowly became a thing where it's just like, all right, I met her and I was like, I like hanging out with her. She's cool. I'll hang out with her again. Then I was like, oh, I like hanging out with you even more. Let's hang out again. And then it just became like, I want to hang out with her over the other girls. Then it was just like, then it became like, I only want to hang out with her. And, uh, what was about her that, that kind of, we have, um, I remember it was like the second day where we were talking about childhood stuff, kind of sure. like what we're talking about now. I, and she's and like, like half white, half Indian for the yes. for the crowd. And I had never, half German, half uh, Indian, yeah. yeah. People get upset when you just say white. All the white people go, <laughs> well, but that's, that's not. Well, the white, city. The white oh, people oh, oh, oh. who are watching this are already furious about the cat's cradle thing, the cats in the cradle thing. So we lost all the white people. No white people are listening to this. <laughs> Good, right. they'll help we, your algorithm. We lost probably. all of them. Um, yeah, so, oh, that's the question. When did you find out that you liked her? You're talking about childhood. Oh, said, yeah. I was telling you all this stuff about my family. Like I'm yeah. telling you now. Yeah. And I opened up a little. Like I, I, not, not, not to this extent. Now I'm more open about it. But sure. Like, I mean, like five years ago, I was, I didn't tell anyone. Like it was a thing I hid. Um, and uh, I told her. I don't know. I just felt right. I told her second day. I remember. And then, um, instead of being like, like, what the fuck. Or like this, she was just, just like uh, she opened up about her stuff, and it was kind of the same in a way, mm-hmm. in an odd way. And it was like the first time I was like myself, really. Yeah. And it was like accepted. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember that being a like a big like the second that yeah, second, second date, being date. A big deal. Yeah. Usually second date, you're thinking like, uh, where are we going for date number three? Not like, hey, let's go deep. Yeah, I think that's a good. Uh, well, again, it's test. like it's just one of the things you, I didn't think that and go. This is it. This is. It, it was yeah. more just like, oh. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It was yeah, that was it. It wasn't more but but at the time it's like I don't even think I knew how to process emotions. Like I'm way more like 
advanced in like understanding it mm-hmm. and knowing what I like need and want. Yeah, you know what I mean. And what so, to ask for and stuff. Now. Yeah, before you just things happen, you yeah. feel you go. Burr, whoop, yeah, or you don't yeah. even know your feelings. I want to ask yeah. more questions. It seems like the girlfriend's good. We got some spicy questions too. Spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna take it over the Patreon. Well, let's let's move over to Patreon, yeah, baby. But I I would like to do some plugs before you go over to Patreon. Yes, Camacho, bro. Any anything you want to you want to plug before yeah. we move, move, move on to Patreon? So um, when this comes out, um, my comedy special will be releasing. Um, not sure exactly where, but it most likely will be on my YouTube, um, youtube.com slash James Camacho. If you thought this, uh, all this <laughs> child abuse I went through was interesting, <laughs> um, it's a, there's a lot of jokes about it in the special and then, uh, just regular comedy club jokes. That's one thing I tried to do with the comedy special. I didn't want to make it this whole like one, one man show where I'm sure, like sad. Maybe. I try to make it like regular comedy, comedy humor, and then. But it's also personal too. Yeah, which is the which is the, the best uh, for me. That's like the pr- best kind of comedy. How much of it did you watch? Because I know you left that. I place. watched like twenty five minutes of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't really get personal until like personal, personal about yeah, until yeah. the end. But it's like, yeah. So if you know, so go watch it, and then on Instagram, um, Instagram dot com slash Kamach Bro. If you're a stand up fl- fan. Please go on there at this point. No more, no more background. No more biracial fetishes. <laughs> Scroll just, down just dumb, if you so want to see that. Scroll yeah. down. I, I, I'm, I can't even. I, I can't stand it anymore. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, jamescomacho.com for tour dates. I'm touring the country. And, Hell yeah, um, cool bins. Yeah. Love to see. Thanks again for coming. We'll roll over to Patreon. But before we go, thanks to the Patreon members for signing in. We got our sponsors. Aminu Rashid. We have so many more coming in right now. So appreciate all the love. Tell a friend. Share the pod. We have new episodes dropping every Wednesday. Dan Pulzello is on the road at Dan Pulzello Tour Dates. Yes. Find me at Shafi Stands Up. I'm all over the country, baby, starting starting like august but yeah. i don't know when this is going to be released but stay tuned and we'll see you guys <laughs> and on we'll see you soon patreon patreon see baby ya. later